here with uh, Steve Bruno. Uh, impressive victory today. Uh, tell us uh, your thoughts on the fight. Uh, I thought the fight went really well. I uh, came out, you know, put my jab out there. He actually uh, caught me in the eye, and, and uh, I figured maybe I'd just take the fight to the ground. I physically looked a lot better than him. Assumed I was going to be a lot stronger, and so I, when I shot in on him, I felt like real strong. I could just dominate the fight from there. I'm usually a stand-up guy, but I got to show my versatility tonight and show my uh, jujitsu a little bit. Couldn't have done it without my coach here, known in the jujitsu community as. Parampina, you want to say something? Um, I'm going to ask you a little bit about uh, your thoughts on uh, the performance of your, your students here. Uh, tell us uh, your thoughts. Well, uh, Steve is the kind of guy that he he came with our gym as a striker. But he's, you know, getting better and better in his ground game. And every fight he shows this, you know, and it, it, it didn't surprise me. A submission, we were prepared for a submission, a decision, or a knockout. I knew that this fight was gonna, he's not going to last too long. And he pulled out a submission. It was really impressive the way that technically how he did it. Um, you hear a lot about uh, ATT. Um, I want your thoughts on training with uh, not only your, your teacher here, Pampina, but also with uh, the crew like Ricardo Laborio, Dennis Kang, and all, all the quality guys you guys have out at uh, ATT. Well, first, let me say this. For anyone visiting American Top Team, it's like mixed martial arts fantasy camp there. You got Marcus Aurelio, Dennis Kang, Thiago Alves. You have all Jeff Munson. You have all these guys in the big show. Ricardo Laborio is pretty much a, a legend in, in the jiu-jitsu community. You bring all these guys to the mat together, and you know great things are going to happen when you put that many different kind of bodies and that many different kind of styles together on one mat. Just a great learning environment. Everyone's getting better every day. And, um, you know, I don't know what more there is to say about that, but it's just a, an incredible experience getting to train an American top team with so many good guys. When you roll with uh, the guy right over here sitting next to you, uh, how does it go? Do you beat him up pretty good? <laughs> no. I could lie to you and say, say uh, yeah, but no. Yeah, no, does, no, does. no, it's just full of shit. Hey, the last time I trained with this guy, he abused me, you know, we were working out in the cage. He was like Tito Ortiz, elbowing me and everything. And I get, it's, we're like complete strangers when he rolls with me, you know. You think because we're friends he'd go easy, but no, he doesn't go easy on me. Does he give you the old snap, crackle, pop? No, he, nah, nah, he usually, what he'll do is try to score as many points as possible. If there was like a scoreboard ringside, you'd just see the numbers going up like this. Man, he could take me out any time he wants to, but he just, uh, you know, plays the point game with me. So. And uh, your thoughts on your student. How far do you think that Steve Bruno can go in the sport of mixed martial arts? Well, he, he already proved tonight that he can be the best welterweight here at MFC, and he, I, in my opinion, he already is. And you know, not taking any disrespect for, to for, you know about any other guys, but I see I've seen a lot of 170 pound guys tonight, and I think I think Steve is the, is the number one. So he's ready to go for a belt, you know, fight right here. He's already fought in Korea. You know, he's well rounded for the euphoria. So I mean, I, I, we all think that he's like UFC material, you know. So he's ready for everything right now. He's like 10 and 4, and uh, 10 and 3. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> 10 and 3, and uh, you know, he's ready. He's ready for everything. Uh, any parting thoughts from you uh, regarding uh, uh, your, your your thoughts on the MFC and also fighting in Canada? Yeah, I mean, besides the cold weather, which is for us, it's like really brutal. Uh, MFC is a very good organization, and uh, everything was pretty much like, you know, uh, well handed about, about you know about the show. We were pretty much well treated about, uh, you know, everybody treated us good. So I think it's a show that can grow grow up a lot. And uh, what were your thoughts on uh, uh, being at one of the biggest malls in the world, West Edmonton Mall, yesterday? I saw you there yesterday. Did you have a chance to look around? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a great city, you know. Everybody's real f very friendly. And uh, to us, it was kind of, you know, uh, funny that to see, like, a long, huge line, people waiting, you know, to get, you know, on the heated pool, you know, inside a shopping mall, in a, in a mall. So it's kind of funny. It's re re really nice, really nice. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, and uh, any parting thoughts? I just wanted to ask uh, any sponsors to thank any people you'd like to thank in closing. Yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Craig at Hayabusa Fightwear for hooking me up with some good shorts. It's, uh, you know, made my job a little easier wearing some high-quality clothing out there. 
And, uh, you know, thank American Top Team. I'd like to thank my coach. I'd like to thank Laborio, Dan Lambert, Richie, from the people who mop the floors at ATT to people who teach us how to arm bar someone. I'd like to thank John everyone. Manager, John Hartnett, just John really Hartnett. important. John tell us about John Hartnett. Hartnett. Yeah, he's a... <laughs> tell us about John Hartnett. You mean, you, mean, <laughs> you mean general manager of American Top Team, John Hartnett? Is that who we're talking yeah. about? <laughs> <laughs> good, good. I can't say anything about John. He's an awesome guy. That's it. John, John yeah. thank you for the fight. But you had a lot of things wrong with my paperwork, but I still love you. You know, you're my boy. But I'm going to straighten you out when I get home, all right? Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate that. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, too, for, for joining us thanks, today. Thanks. thanks. Uh, we, we, we love to come back and fight here again. And thank you very much. Like he said, American Top Team, all the guys, you know, especially the board, Dan, you know, Conan, and uh, everybody who helped us out for his fight. Thank you very much. We'll be back.